What is hantavirus and how does it spread? Even when the world is trying to find a cure for the dreaded coronavirus pandemic, a report in Global Times said that a man from China's Yunnan province died from hantavirus while on a bus to the Shandong province. What is hantavirus? Hantavirus is a virus that is found in the urine, saliva, or droppings of infected deer mice and some other wild rodents it causes a rare but serious lung disease called hantavirus pulmonary syndrome HPS. Some people are calling it a new virus but so is not the case. United States' National Center for Biotechnology Information, and CBI, in a journal writes that currently, the hantavirus genus includes more than 21 species. Hantavirus Pulmonary Syndrome Hantavirus Pulmonary Syndrome HPS, is a rare but deadly viral infection. It is spread by mice and rats. They shed the virus in their urine, droppings, and saliva. Tiny droplets with the virus can enter the air. People can get the disease if they breathe infected air or come into contact with rodents or their urine or droppings. You cannot catch it from people. Why this name? The virus was named as Han virus, after the name of the river Handong. This initial discovery dates back to scientific approaches that were initiated after the Korean War, 1951-1953 during which more than 3,000 cases of Korean hemorrhagic fever were reported among United Nations UN, troops. In 1981, a new genus termed as hantavirus was introduced in the Bunyava Aridi family, which included the viruses that cause hemorrhagic fever with renal syndrome HFRS. Hantaviruses belong to the Bunyavirus family of viruses. There are five genera within the family, Bunyavirus, Fulbivirus, Nirovirus, Dospivirus, and Hantavirus. Each is made up of negative-sensed, single-stranded RNA viruses. All these genera include arthropod-borne viruses, with the exception of Hantavirus, which is rodent-borne. Hantaviruses are enveloped viruses with a genome that consists of three single-stranded RNA segments designated DES small, M, medium, and L, large. All hantaviral genes are encoded in the negative, genome complementary, sense. Here are the characteristics of some known hantaviruses. Reservoir Rodents like the bank voles and the yellow-necked mouse are the reservoir for hantaviruses. After being infected, bank voles start to shed the virus after 5 to 6 days, and the excretion continues for about 2 months. How it is transmitted? The rodents excrete hantaviruses in the urine, feces and saliva, and human infection takes place mostly via inhalation of aerosolized virus-contaminated rodent excreta. Therefore rodent-infested dusty places are risk sites. No human-to-human -human transmission is known for European hantaviruses. No arthropod vectors are known for hantaviruses. Other mammal species, for example cats, dogs, coyotes, may be infected through contact with rodent hosts, but they are not known to transmit virus, photo from CDC. Who are in the risk groups? Occupations such as forestry workers and farmers have an increased risk of exposure. If people get HPS, they will feel sick 1 to 5 weeks after they were around mice or rats that carried a hantavirus. At first people with HPS will have Fever severe muscle aches fatigue. After a few days they will have a hard time breathing. Sometimes people will have headaches, dizziness chills, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, and stomach pain. Usually, people do not have a runny nose, sore throat, or a rash. Three main clinical syndromes can be distinguished after hantavirus infection, hemorrhagic fever with renal syndrome HFRS, mainly caused by Sol, Pumola and Dabrava viruses. Nephropathia epidemica, a mild form of HFRS caused by Pumilla virus, 
and hantavirus cardiopulmonary syndrome, which may be caused by Andes virus, Sinnamber virus, and several others. What are the prevention measures? Avoidance of virus-contaminated dust during work or leisure time is of prime importance, for people with underlying disease, face masks could be used. Wild rodents taken into homes as pets or to laboratories for research purposes have caused infections. Since pumilovirus remains infective outside the host for an unexpectedly long period, for two weeks at room temperature, the risk of infection can persist after rodents have been removed. How can we diagnose the infection? The diagnosis of hantavirus disease mainly relies on the detection of antibodies, through immunofluorescent assays, IFA, or enzyme immunoassays, EIA. In recent years, immunochromatographic M assays as a point-of-care test with an optical reader, has been developed. RT-PCR from patient blood is coming into use. What is its management and how can we treat the patients? The treatment of hantavirus disease is mainly symptomatic. Maintaining the fluid balance, while avoiding overhydration in a potentially oligoric patient is of critical importance. In case of renal insufficiency, dialysis may be required. Because European hantaviruses do not spread from human to human, no isolation is needed. These are references. Please subscribe and share the video. Make your nearer and dearer safe and aware about this virus.